Hi, I'm Mrs. G. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at the 16 point compass and how you can ensure that you never get it incorrect. The first thing we're going to do when we're looking at the 16 point compass is we are going to look at our four point compass first of all. So the four point compass comprises of the main cardinal points, which are north, east, south and west. For the cardinal points, they are easy for you to remember. One memory tip is that you are always going to be going in a clockwise direction. That is the direction that the clock actually turns into. So north would be 12 o'clock, east would have been 3 o'clock, south would be 6 o'clock, and west would have been 9 o'clock. That's your clockwise direction. Now to remember it easily, you can say never eat sour worms. That way you are still going in the clockwise direction and it's easier for you to memorize that way. That's your step one. Step two, you are going to keep your four point compass, but you are going to create a line between the four lines that you have. So we have north, east, south, west. Here, in between north and east, we are going to create one line that goes all the way across. And between north and west, we are creating another line that goes all the way across, just the same. Now, we are once we have put in our lines, we would end up with eight points. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. We have this little crown over north and over south because I want you to easily remember the importance of these two. So we we'll look at north and south as our king and queen, or they are the head of our household. That way they will always, always appear first when we are doing the eight point compass. Here we go. So we have the four points. We have the other areas that are blank that would make up the eight point compass, north and east. What we are basically doing, we are going to be adding or putting together the compass points that we already know to help us to create the compass points that we do not know. So north and east, which is right here, we have a blank space in between. All we're doing is putting north and east together in order to create the compass point here. But what is important for us to remember is that north and south would have basically been royalty. So royalty will always, always, always come first. So in this case, with the north and the east together, we are going to create northeast. N would certainly be first. Secondly, for east and south, in between here we have this area blank again we have south which would have been our queen or royalty so we would certainly put south first so we would end up with southeast then we have south and west or blank space here south is our queen royalty always go first for this blank spot here, we would end up with south and west, which would give us southwest. And finally, this section, west and north, we will put the north first because he is our king, and then we end up with our northwest. So that would give us our eight point compass. Here we go. That is our eight point compass. So that takes us to step three. Step three, we have the eight points. What we do next, we create a line between each point, exactly like we did the first time. So we put in a line there between north and northwest, and it extends across to south and southeast. After we do that with all of our points, we will end up with a total of 16 points going all the way around. So if you look closely, you will see that there is a blank space 
in between all of the points that we already know. Just like we did before, we need to put the two points that we know together so that we can create the point that we do not know. Here's another memory tip. Along with north and south here, remember north is our king, south is our queen, we now have little children. East would have been our princess and west would have been our prince. So we have four persons now or four cardinal points now that we consider to be royalty. Now these cardinal points will always, always appear first. Here we go. First example. To get the point between north here and northeast here, we're just going to add both of them together or put the letters together so that we can ensure that we get the point that is in between. This would give us north, northeast because we always, always put our king first. Example number two, to get to the point between northeast and east, we would put them together just the same. East would now be our little princess, which is royalty. So she certainly goes first. So we would have east first and then we have northeast. So we have east, northeast. Now let's fill in these missing points. Between north and northeast, here we have north, northeast. Between northeast and east, remember east is our princess. This was from the example. So we have east, northeast. Now for the next one, east again with southeast. Which one do we put first? Yes, you got it. We put east first. So it would be east, southeast. And for the next part, we have south and south, southeast. Which one do we put first again? That's right, it is south. So we end up with south, southeast. Good. Now moving on. This part, I did not put in the crowns for you. Neither will I give you the answers for these. What I want you to do is to comment your responses in the comment section below. And I will tell you if you got them right or not but I will show you what the entire 16 point compass would look like. Here you go. This would be our 16 point compass. So exactly what we did before, you draw your four points and write in your cardinal points. Then you put in your lines to create your eight point compass. Then you look at the letters that you already have to help you find the ones that you need to find then you put in your other lines in between the eight point compass so you end up with your 16 points and you look at the letters that you already have remember the north is your king south is your queen east is your princess and west is your prince once you remember that you'll be good to go. That is the end. We want to thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, comment, share it with your classmates, and ensure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our other videos. Thank you so much for watching.